Good evening, sci-fi movie nerds, and welcome to another episode of the Sci-Fi Movie Guy. My name is Mike, and we're here to talk about Solo, a Star Wars story. This is going to be a completely non-spoilers review, so if you haven't seen the movie, don't worry. You can absolutely watch this. I'm just going to tell you what I think about the movie. But before we get to that, I'm in a bit of a mood today. So, I've been reading a lot of articles and seeing a lot of reviews out there so far, and a lot of people are being really critical of this movie. And that's fine, you can be critical of this movie, but I'm hearing phrases thrown out like, Star Wars was Teflon, and since Disney's taken over, it's not that great. Um, I'm hearing lots of rumblings about, oh, they you know, crap the bed with The Last Jedi, and now this movie is just okay. And you know what? Star Wars was not Teflon before Disney took over. Anybody remember the prequels? They weren't that great either. As a matter of fact, when Empire Strikes Back came out, it got bad reviews. It's just over the time, um, like, Star Wars nerds like me loved it, but you know what? It, it's grown on people over 41 years, um, and now the original trilogy is considered a masterpiece. But you know what? I go to these movies because I want to feel like I did back when I was a kid. It's Star Wars. It's fun. It's enjoyable. You know what? This movie, or any Star Wars movie, is not going to be Schindler's List, The Shawshank Redemption, um, Three Billboards Outside of Missouri. If you're looking for those kind of movies, then go to a film festival or, you know, go see a movie during Academy Awards season. But if you love Star Wars, then go love Star Wars for what it is. It's a great action movie littered with things that are fan service for canon enthusiasts like myself. Um, but let's get into Solo, a Star Wars story. So as you can tell, I, I liked this movie. Now, I didn't love this movie. I liked this movie a whole ton. This movie was action-packed. The acting in it was phenomenal. First, let's start with Alden Ehrenreich. Alden Ehrenreich did a fantastic job playing Han Solo. No, he wasn't Harrison Ford, nor did he try to be. You know what, I remember a little guy named Chris Pine who had to take on a role of Captain James T. Kirk of the USS Enterprise. And a lot of people said that, oh, there's no way he can do William Shatner. Well, you know what, he didn't try to do William Shatner. He just tried to do his take on the Captain Kirk character. And guess what, we all love him now. Well, this Alden Ehrenreich Han Solo, young Han Solo, I liked it a lot. I thought he was a solid performance. I thought he captured the nuances of Han Solo that we wanted to see. Um, so great job to him. Um, Donald Glover and Chewbacca, though, they steal this movie. Lando and Chewie. I really like those two the best in this movie. Uh, Lando Calrissian. Donald Glover is Lando Calrissian. I might even like him more than I liked Billy D. Williams in the original ones. And Chewbacca has some great stuff in this movie. Um, the girl, oh, Kira, um, who's played by the girl in Game of Thrones, can't remember her name right now, but she was fantastic. Woody Harrelson's character, I thought, could have been utilized a little bit more. Didn't quite feel um, what I think we were supposed to get out of him as Han's mentor in this movie, but that's okay. You know what? All in all, the action sequences were fantastic. The flying ship sequences were phenomenal. Um, the story lacked a tiny bit, but you know what? It, it It's a fun Star Wars movie. Go see this movie. So, in my rating system, we have must-see, go, wait for video, and no. This is the first time I'm ever not giving a Star Wars movie a must-see, but this is a very high go. you got to go in the theaters, you got to stuff your face full of popcorn, and you got to see this movie. Kids are going to absolutely love it. Um, it has enough things sprinkled in for people like me who've seen every Star Wars movie, read all the books, that you'll see little nuggets that other people are going to miss, and you go, oh, they did that for me, and that was fantastic. But if you're not a big Star Wars enthusiast, you don't have to have seen any Star Wars movies to appreciate this movie. So again, I give this movie a go. Solid movie. Um, go see it in the theaters. It has to be seen in the theaters. Uh, if you want, I'd love to hear in the comments section below what you guys think of Solo, a Star Wars story. Um, if you want, you can email me, movieguysci-fi at gmail.com. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, at movieguysci-fi. And remember, everybody, nerds rule the world.